What's up everyone, Ricardo Horna here on the red carpet at the 2016 Producers Guild Award. The stars are just about to get here, so stick with us, because you're watching The Scoop. So just uh, first of all, congratulations on the nomination, that's obviously incredible. What was the experience like of uh, creating such an important film? Well, it was really actually healing in the sense that I, this is this work. This film completes a diptych. Two films. The first was my first film, our first film, The Act of Killing. Well, it wasn't seen as first film. It was my first film, um, and that was an emotionally frightening film to make, but not physically frightening because we were we were working in the act of killing with perpetrators of genocide in a country where they were still in power. So the government would roll out a red carpet for everything we were doing. And when we made the look of silence, it was physically frightening because I was wor we were working with a survivor who goes and confronts the men who killed his brother, asking them to take responsibility for what they've done. Uh, and that uh, we were threatened. We often had to be prepared to evacuate. We were uh, uh, taking precautions against being beaten up, being arrested. And uh, so it was physically frightening, but actually ending this 10-year journey, because for me it's been a 10-year journey, with the very family that I began it, making the film that I initially set out to make, uh, was so healing. Well, we'll definitely be uh, rooting for you. Uh, what would you say has been like the best part of your experience uh, working with House of Cards? Uh, just the, the way that the audience has accepted it and it being the pioneer for streaming on television and seeing the audience make that adjustment and make that shift um, and now start to appreciate it the same way that they used to appreciate traditional television. So, so just something that I've been asking a lot of people on the red carpet tonight, there's a lot of really important social issues to talk about. What would you say is the role of people that are in the film industry, producers, directors, actors, to really bring these issues to the forefront? I think that's a question for Will. <laughs> well, I think we want to reflect the reality and I think we want to be representative in the stories that we tell. And we want to make sure that you know all kinds of stories are told, uh, making sure that all kinds of communities are represented, people of color. And in the instance of Greg's movie with the LGBT community, it was very important that Greg's story be told. It's an incredible story of resilience, and it's an incredible story of Greg you know, overcoming so many odds that I think gives hope and encourages people who are in a tough situation. Like, I, we know, we're both producers, we know how you spend years slaving over something and like, you know, it's like trying to have a child and you release that child in the world and sometimes people go, ooh, and sometimes people go, ah! <laughs> but watching the people tonight react to their wins and, and their honor ring and all the honorees, it's a big, big group hug, so kind of watching their faces is the fun part. Absolutely, and obviously us being a university, we have a lot of students that are interested in going into filmmaking, producing, directing. Do you have any advice or tips for them um, as they start coming into the industry? I tell you, one of the things that I've learned, I learned it from Craig and mostly from his dad. Charles Schultz, all he ever cared about was being able to draw the comic strip, make enough money to put food on the table. It was never about where that comic strip would go. He loved the work. And I think, you know, as a student, as a director myself, you have to love the process and love the work. There will be times you'll struggle. You'll be like Charlie Brown and your, your kite's going to get tangled in the tree. <laughs> Uh, but if you love the work, good things will come of it. Amazing. The, the breaking into the industry is probably, you know, what we all need to do. And, and a lot of it's to do with luck and chance. But, but unless you take some sort of action, just thinking about it isn't going to change where you are. So, you know, pick up your iPhone if that's all you've got. Pick up a piece of paper and start writing if you're a writer. And if you're a producer, combine all of those, find the people that know how to do it, you know. But never give up. It's a, it's a privilege to be able to work in this sort of world, yeah. Amazing. Um, one last favor. Is there any way you could give us a quick fight on for the camera Hell for USC? Yeah. <laughs> fight, fight on, yeah. Thank you so much. Camera. Fight on. Trojans. <laughs> Pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much.